All right, y'all, tip two, right? So use the step sequencer to create complex beats quickly, all right? That's what we're talking about today. We're going to go into MPC, and I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. But first, the step sequencer allow you to create drum patterns by programming steps or beats on a grid, with each steps representing a specific note or drum sound. The MPC step sequencer is very versatile, allowing you to create patterns of different lengths and changing the timing of individual steps, all right? So that's what it do, we're gonna go in and show you, right? And it also adjusts the velocity of individual notes or even the individual steps. So I'ma show y'all that, I'ma show y'all how to do that, everything. It's gonna be a real quick video, all right? So to use the drum sequencer, you have to select the drum program you want to work with, and then click on the step sequencer button. I'ma show you how to get to all of that in the software, all right? You can then start programming your beats by clicking on the individual pads or using the mouse to click the individual pads or even the step sequence on the inside the um, MPC. I'm going to show you all why you should consider start using the pads because the pads sometimes will help you figure out, you know, where your, your stuff need to line up. One of the benefits of using the step sequencer is that it allows you to create complex drum patterns with a lot of varieties and without having to manually program each individual notes or drum hits. It is very efficient and intuitive way to create beats in the MPC software and it can be a real time saver for producers who wants to create complex drum patterns real quick. All right. So today, that's what we're doing, man. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go in the software. Let's go. All right, y'all. So now we inside the MPC software, right? So right here is the they call it the step sequencer right here. So if you're at home, it look like this. If you're on the step sequencer, it's empty. All right. So if you hit the drum drum pattern, you see it put a it'll put a note there. No matter where you put the it'll put notes on there. It's not like the regular drum program. All right. So right here is how you get to it if you don't see it right here you can hit the drop drop down and then go to uh right here step sequencer right if you don't if you want to get it right here on your um your menu you'll go to here the hamburger menu right here this is the hamburger menu all right you'll go to view you'll go to toolbar you go to toolbar modes and you'll select what you want to have up here so this is all the stuff that I have up on the top if I wanted to add pad mute I will put a check there and pad mute will appear up here all right so that's how you get the stuff up there now the reason why I say that start trying to figure out how to use this step sequencer is similar to the to the um if you have the hardware if you, if you have the hardware is most likely you you already used to the step sequencer but if you don't have the hardware and you have the software you this is where you come and you can use your mouse or your finger or whatever and you can tap in let's go on the drums so let's hear the drum this is the drum right this is how the step sequencer work one these four right here represent these four right here these second four right here represent these four right here this third four equal these four right here these four four equal these four so that's one measure right there all right so what you want to do you know the kick always going to one so this is the one right here once i click it it goes on the one now you know the clap let's go to clap or snare that's always if you're in if you're in double mode it goes on the three if you're in sing if you're in i mean double time if you're in double time it goes on the three which is right here but if you're in single time, which is like uh, 100, 110 or less in the BPM, you'll go on the 2 and the 3. I mean 2 and the 4. You'll go on the 2 and the 4. All right? So if you need the 2 and the 4, you know where the 2 and the 4 is at, right? Because remember, this right here is these 4. 
this right here is these four this right here is these four so if it's the two this is the two right here so this is the one this is the two and this is the four that's your our kick and our snare so if I hit play all right let's it is on is on uh it's on um two bars let's just put it on one bar for now one bar enter all right so now all these represent all these over here all right so if you you can use the pencil mode and do it and then after you use the pencil mode and do it or you can use your pad and do it and then come back here and add intricate parts in your in, in your beats for it to sound like different all right so right here is where you can adjust the velocity of the um the note so if this one note right here is too loud you can turn it down this is the velocity right right here turn it down you hear it low if i turn it all the way up all right so that's the velocity you can even like take it off the grid and once i move it you see it move here right once i move it it moves notice it move so let's put it back on the one it's gonna move all right so the 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 pads actually will help you to move faster into having like your drums like off time and stuff like that it'll, it'll make your drums sound more realistic all right instead of you just adding in the pencil or whatever and then you can use the make the drums first and then do that and this is where you do your velocity right here and to make your your, your, your rolls you can come right here here go the rolls the ratchet is the rolls turn it up and it splits them listen this all right so once i move it up there that's five let's bring it down all right let's bring it down more down all right all the way up all right so that's the uh this one is your velocity and this one is do your little rolls so that's why i like to use sometimes i'm just showing my process on what i like to use all right so that's it for today man that's the tip real quick let's go let's get it peace